So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be looking back on what we did the last video, but just extend it just a little farther. So we're going to be using linear equations and slope-intercept form again, but this time we're going to be doing it by finding the slope of just two points. And once we find the slope of the two points, we then are going to have to find the y-intercept. So again, just as a quick review, to find the slope between two points, we take y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We have the two points. So if we have a point, for example, 0, 2, and 3, 4, what we need to do is we need to take the y's. I'm going to pick y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 to get the slope between those two points. So in this case, our slope would be 2 thirds. This should be review. This should be becoming something that we're able to do without much thought, being able to find slope between two points. So. Like I said, we're going to need to write an equation of a line that passes through diff two different points. So in the last video, we had three steps that we need to follow. The first step is to find the slope. So I'm going to do that over here. Find the slope of these two points. I'm given two points, so I'm going to do my y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 negative 4 minus 0, 4 minus 0, then 2 minus 3 to find the slope between those two points. Negative 4 minus 0 is negative 4. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. I have a negative divided by a negative. And then, so I know it's a positive, and 4 divided by 1 would be positive 4. So my slope would be positive 4. So we found the slope. Done. Our next step is to find the y-intercept. So, looking back at the last video, we had to find the y-intercept by plugging in the point they gave us into our y equals mx plus b form. This time we're going to be given two different points and what you can do is you can choose either point that you want to plug in for it. Because we now know the slope, we need to plug in either of the two points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what we get if we plug in this point and then what we get if we plug in this point. So, we have these two. I'm going to plug in 3, 0 for my first equation. So my y in this is 0. My slope is 4. My x is 3. I get 0 equals 12 plus b. Subtract 12 to both sides. My y-intercept then would be negative 12. Now we've done that with this point. Let's try it with the other point. See if we get the same thing. So my y is negative 4. My slope is positive 4. My x is 2, I then get negative 4 equals 8 plus b, subtract 8 to both sides, I get b equals negative 12. So I did it with both points. We got the exact same answer for our slope inter for our y-intercept. So all you need to do is choose either point. 
If we do this point, we get our y-intercept of 12. If we use the second point, we get our y-intercept of 12. It doesn't matter what point you use. So, first step, find the slope, which we did. Now, our second step is to find the y-intercept. We found the y-intercept. We plugged in one of our points to our y equals mx plus b. And we got our y-intercept of 12. So now all that we're left to do is write the equation. So y equals mx plus b. We know what our slope is. We know what our y-intercept is. All we need to do is plug in our m and our b. So we get y equals, our slope is 4. So y equals 4x. Then we look at our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is negative 12. So I'm going to write minus 12. Same steps as before. We only had to add one little thing in finding the slope first between the two points. Then we choose one of the two points. You don't have to do both each time. You only have to use one point. I just showed both points to show that you get the exact same answer no matter what. So then you find your y-intercept. Then you need to write the equation. This is our good answer. This is what our question was asking us for. Our y equals 4x minus 12. That's an equation of the line that passes through these two points. This is what you're trying to solve for. It takes a couple steps to get there, but this is our answer. So being given two points and writing it in slope-intercept form. And so the last thing I want to talk to you about is the three ways that we've written equations in these first two sections. First, we're always going to use y equals mx plus b form. If we're just given a slope and a y-intercept, all you need to do is plug in numbers. That's the best for us. If we're given a slope and the y-intercept, all we need to do is plug in numbers to get our equation. If we're given slope in one point, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to plug in the slope. That'll be our first step. Then solve the y-intercept. Then plug in numbers. And lastly, if we're given two points, you need to first find the slope Secondly, plug in numbers, plug in the slope. Plug in points to find the y-intercept. And lastly, plug in the numbers. So, it's easiest if we're given our slope and our y-intercept. It's pretty easy with the slope in one point. If we're only given two points, that's where a lot of our work will come into. So these are the three different ways that we can write the equations. And these three different ways are very important going on in the future. So you need to make sure you know these three different ways to write equations.